Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. Today in this episode, I want to show how I improve my accuracy uh, in 4570 by relying on some of the principle of the 65 of the uh, yeah 65 Cranmore. So it's something that I stumble upon. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how many people actually know that, but it's just, yeah, I haven't seen anything like this uh, so far on the web, and I think it's worth sharing. So. Basically, like, short, you know, to make a long story short, uh, it's like crossbreeding, right? Like in a canine, canine world, you'll have like German Shepherd that you're crossbreeding with a Malamute or a Husky, and then you have the new puppy will have some of the characteristic of the mom and the dad. So here in this instance, let's say we have the mom here, and this is the dad. Um, the first thing you'll need to do before uh, moving forward is if you have a kiss gauge, or a caliper, make sure you have proper matrix uh, according to semi-spec here on each blood. This is quite important. I don't have one here in 4570, so I usually use uh, just my calipers. And the the way to do this is very simple. So technically what you have to do is you have to make sure that these two bullets are very close to one another and you need to inspect how... Actually, it's actually better to take these bullets in your hand and make sure that they're actually touching each other's on the the length and you feel it at some point you start feeling the energy of you know one bullet starting to influence the other and after a while technically what happened is these bullets kind of breathe and give you a new one and this new bullet looks like daddy but it hits like mummy uh, and, you know, if you shoot it, it's gonna fly like a 6.5, same ballistic, but it's going to hit like mummy here. So, that's how I... Oh no, there's no primer. Man.